What is mental health? Mental health encompasses the emotional, psychological and social well-being of a person. It influences the cognition and perception of people's behavior and how they relate to others. There are seven main types of mental health. These are anxiety disorders, mood disorders, psychotic disorders, eating disorders, personality disorders, dementia, and autism. Mental health can affect anyone. About one in five adults suffer from one or more mental health conditions each day. It affects your day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day life in many ways, but it is different for each person. You can have this from childhood to adolescence to adulthood throughout your life. It affects the ways to think, feel and act. So what causes mental health? Well, many factors contribute to mental health. Some of these are traumatic events in your life you have experienced or are experiencing stress at home, work, and forward slash or personal life. Bereavement, losing someone close to you. Many physical attributes like hitting your head or physical abuse and emotional abuse can all have an impact on your daily life and mental health. Also genes, for example, BPD and bipolar disorder can be passed down through your genetics, though this isn't always the case and making unwise decisions can impact you. What support is out there? There are many places in society and online for people with mental health to go to for support. Even though there is a stigma out there that impacts people to believe that if they have to get help then it is because they are crazy, however, that is not true. These places consist of community mental health units, crisis teams, hospitals, residential care, social and community care, and mind.org, which provides you with emotional support 24-7 every day as well as financial support. They also strive to encourage you and give you the independence that you need. In conclusion, mental health is something people seem to think is nothing to worry about, however, they are wrong. It is something that should be talked about every day because it is so hard for people to understand and get help when we don't know much about it in the first place. Things can be so hard to deal with and everyone is different. Sometimes even the smallest things can cause you to feel so sad and hopeless even when all you want to feel is good. My advice to you is if you are feeling down then talk to someone or write about it and burn it if it helps you but don't bottle it up because, in the end, it is not worth it. Find something or someone to make you feel good or better even on your worst days.